Hello everyone and welcome back to Bellytron Plays Dead Cells. Now, uh, you know, if you people who've been watching my channel, you know that this game has been kind of on hiatus on my channel for the last little bit. That's because, you know, I kind of got to the Watcher and, you know, wasn't making much progress. So I kind of put it on the shelf for a little bit. But, Update 4 has just come out, the brutal update. Uh, I've read through some of the patch notes and, uh, new game, save slot 1. I wonder if this means that, uh... No, no, current. Okay, good. We're good. Back, back. New game. All right. Anyways, uh, this you know this update seems to have some new items, uh, some new mechanics, kind of with like um. Oh, by the sounds of it, you don't use cells to you know update the effectiveness or the you know the damage modifiers on weapons. Um, instead, it's used to only unlock weapons. You know, but like I was saying, there's some new weapons, some new UI. Oh yeah, there definitely are. Uh, some new enemies and some new areas, a whole bunch of stuff like that, so that's kind of cool. Uh, oh, here we go, I was going to say. Oh, and three choices. This is intriguing. And look at the colors, very pretty. So, from what I understand, yeah, there's a whole bunch of items that have dual colors. So, uh, we've got, I'm not going to remember what they're called now, but we're going to grab these two here. And shields, apparently you can hold them forever. Okay. Interesting. Okay, I'm still gonna pick up this bad boy here and go this way. And let's get right into this. Let's see if I can remember how to play this game. Ooh, okay, yeah. Uh, yeah. No problem. So I have heard that the game is supposed to be a little bit harder now, uh, especially in certain areas. I don't know what that means. Some rearrangement of different things. So, you know, we're just going to find out what all that means. And uh, I'm doing it kind of blind. I mean, outside of reading the patch notes, there's nothing else that I've done here. So I'm pretty excited to figure out what's new in this. Okay. Yeah, we'll definitely take a bomb like that. You know, the coloring on everything I'm finding very intriguing. I don't, you know, the, hmm, what do you call it? The little UI interface in the bottom left. I don't know if I necessarily like some of the changes they've made on that, but uh, I'm definitely like, you know, like the fact that they've kind of colored the weapons to, you know, go with the various different types of stats that you can pick up. Um, that, that seems like a cool, cool mechanic. All right. What about this? Do we need to switch to an ice bow? Go purely red. Huh. I mean, no. We're going to sell this. Where's my gold? Oh, it's down the bottom right. Oh, uh, you know what? My uh, leftover gold from my, you know, previous runs probably don't exist. That's okay. We can build up the gold fairly quick. All right, I forgot the shovel returns that to the fire. Ooh. Okay, so I've heard that these have been changed a little bit. So let's take a look here. There's either you can do plus one to anyone you choose, or the other ones you can find are plus two and it randomly chooses two of these for you to look at. So let's see here. Oh, a little. Oh, it shows you in the bottom what you're gonna get out of that. That's cool. Okay, so that's plus 25 percent damage for green equipment. After you parry with the shield, your attacks inflict 100 plus 150 damage per second. 20% health. Interesting. 25% damage for Violet. Cooldown. Plus 7% health. Okay, so we get health no matter what. That's that's good. After you kill an enemy, your attacks flicked. Oh, so this means killing guys just kind of continues to actively roll more damage. So you know what? We're just going to... We're going to give Brutality a run because I think I'm going to use a lot of melee... Uh, do we want to switch? I think we do. Okay, and we can't sell that one. Okay, no problem. Oh, see, and the little, like, plus damage symbol that pops up there? That's cool, so you know how long that's going for. Alright, so they've made some, I would say, some already pretty good looking uh, improvements. Oh, you know what? Let's get this. We need to get a lot of gold, so... Oh, bad timing. And we picked up the firebrands for a reason, so let's let's use them there. Okay. 
And I saw something about re-rolling shops too, so when we get up there, we'll just see what that's all about. Let's talk to this guy. No gold? No? No? Okay, well, I don't have any... Yeah. He doesn't want to talk to me. That's fair. I can't pay him for anything, so, you know, what's the point? Oh, a death orb, yeah. Got him. Oops. Shouldn't have scratched my head. I thought I thought all the guys were dead, but that was not the case. Okay. What do we got here? We've got the promenade. I don't think we're going to go that direction. Considering it looks like there's... Oh, that's not a boss fight. That's the beginning of the level down there on the left. So... I think that we're going to kind of balance between these two. I mean, we get the same sort of health upgrade, which is nice. And the 20% cooldown plus extra damage for the, you know, purple equipment. That's nice. That seems that seems like a good one. I mean, I have a suspicion that we're going to have a couple runs here before we kind of really settle into uh, a game plan for how to uh, go about everything here. But for the moment, we're just going to experiment and have some fun. All right, what do we got? And I've also heard that there's some sort of mythical white weapons that you can get sometimes here too. So let's just compare all these here. We've got Ive Grenade 2 versus a Death Orb 1 or an Ice Grenade 1. Um, plus on the burning target. Eh, you know what? I think we're going to switch out this one. And we'll continue to sell pretty much everything we can. Like I was kind of mentioning before, this is we, we got to build up some... Uh, some gold. It's gonna be interesting to get to the collector here and see what the uh, nice and see what kind of changes are going on with the collector because um, I'm specifically interested in that piece. Okay, the toxics. Oh. Okay. Can we not get to the ramparts? No. I don't think we can. Interesting. Okay, well, let's go the route of the toxic sewers then. This is this is cool. All right, I like that. All right, we have ten cells, so let's go spend those bad boys. Yeah. See, now if we switch to th these areas, yeah. See, there's no longer you know a leveling up within these ones, um, and it obviously is used up in my cells as well. So that's okay. Uh, stock change. You can refresh the contents of a shop for a completely reasonable price. Okay. Hunter's Grenade. Unlocks a special item, the Hunter's Grenade, in the prison cells. The grenade allows you to hunt for rare blueprints more easily. You know what? We're going to go down this route first. That's cool. I like to hear that. As a uh, completionist in most games, that's kind of uh, more important to me than being able to re-roll a, a shop. Even though, you know what? I definitely see that is a cool mechanic I mean there will uh, definitely be times when I'm sure I'll be tempted to do that but for the moment we're gonna go for completion over you know cool little re-rolling mechanics like that all right nothing over here nope nice got him man that like the damage up doesn't last all that long off of uh, the brutality items or or buff or skill or you know whatever it is stats I guess you could say no out of the way out of the way okay I'm starting to take a little bit too much damage and you know of course I've pretty much just uh, you know completely forgotten about my skill items it's just gonna it's gonna take me a little bit to get back into the game here so you know everybody just bear with me maybe for a moment yep saw that coming okay all right what we get here what double notched bow four and it pierces the enemy holy crap Okay, and it's purple. Yes. Sweet. Okay. Let's recycle that. Interesting. Very interesting. 
Did it stun that guy too? I don't know. This bow is already seeming to be pretty awesome. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. Okay. We're just going to sell this one. There's no chance that we want to switch out our double notch bow right away. I mean, we, we know what that, that long bow is like. Or is that the frost bow? I can't remember. We know what that bow is like. It, it's time to learn something new. Nice. This thing shoots pretty fast. Oops. Okay, money. Love picking up Marcel's, that's good. Okay, alright. It's all good. We're making good progress here. We've taken some damage, but oh, oh, oh. It just as I was about to, you know. Look at all my UI and take random damage from a guy I didn't notice right away. Okay, so it doesn't seem like the double notch bow actually has a lot of range. That's something to keep in mind. Damn. Okay, so we may need to heal up here in a moment. Okay, well, I actually felt like a pretty good combo. Alright, still alive, still alive. You know, if I don't find some, like, uh, kebabs right away or something like that, then we're definitely gonna heal. Next point of damage we take. Oh! Which wasn't right then. Whew. I mean, it probably should have been. The animation definitely showed me as, uh, you know, being in the water there. Okay, so here's that fabled, uh,. We have to choose between the two. So what are we going to do? We don't have any green items, so I don't think we're going that way. And the brutality, oh, it's only plus one. I thought maybe it was going to give me plus two or something like that. Uh, I think we're going this direction. Yes. And I like how it, uh, you know, because, so let me, let me try to explain what I've read here. Items that have two uh, colors, or have a white, meaning, you know, they're essentially not bound to any specific color. They scale with whatever uh, stat you have as the highest. So, as I'm, like, leveling up, you know, my stats one way or another, it's like the ones that have multicolor are changing that color's proportion in their item frame to show me which one they're scaling with oh. as the uh, current, you know, highest mm, skill that it's using, which is a cool feature. It's nice that they're, you know, add little UI items like that because those, those work out fairly well. That, that actually is a big help in a game like this. Oh, damn. Okay, we got to get over here and heal. Let's try going down. Oh. Okay. Now back up here. Now, is this... We're going to want to look in here. Yeah, we are. Now, I know I did this in one of my previous ones. Give me the rune. Oh, no. Give him the finger. I don't know what guy that is. I think that's got to be something for later on still. I mean, every time I go by there, I'm going to continue to click on it just, you know, just to see. But, you know, kind of hoping that sometime in the future that's going to pay out. I suspect I have to do something before it will, but, you know, that's all right. What do we got? Do we really want a Hunter's Longbow 3? Ooh. Oh, it's brutality plus one. Okay, well, I mean, this is intriguing, but... No, we're going to recycle that one. It'll give me a decent amount of gold, too. The piercing on this double notch bow is uh, already just so good. It's hard to give that up. Oh, crap. Okay, what do we got here? A frantic sword. Okay. Tactics or more brutality? I think we're going to just... I think we're on a, you know, a, a brutality bender here, essentially. Got 
got him. It's like a little, you know, safety orb for me. Ooh. Okay, well, we definitely want to unlock this. We'll go to it in a moment, because I think there's a good chance that we are going to want to run around first and take a look at things like this. Okay, more brutality. Nothing really going on here. What is that? It's like glowing real hard. Maybe, maybe there's another like new rune or something to unlock or, or a new item. I mean, that'd be super cool if it did. And you know, you, you break through those areas with that. All right. Are we going to switch out the shovel for the Assassin's Dagger too? Well, let's just see here. Oh, you know what? It doesn't give... Oh, it does. It does give the DPS. I think we're going to switch. We're going to switch. I do like this one. Interesting. Feels like there's one move out of there that's missing, but that's okay. Okay. Tells you how many enemies. Nice. Are those enemies remaining going to sit on the screen? There are. Okay. That's a nice little touch. We've got a minute 20. Yeah, that was quick. Alright. Should have thrown down like a death orb and a... Nah, should have done a bunch of things there. Whatever. Whatever. How do we get up there? Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Not exactly what I was expecting to... Like, is that area not reachable? I don't know. Okay, so there's the ramparts. We went right by a time door. That's okay. Uh, you know what? I think what we're going to do here... Is we're going to run this direction for a moment. We're just going to see if there's like... A, a scroll or something and there's not so we're not gonna go to the ramparts quite yet I'm very interested in like uh, what, what do you say here like oh no see I can't go that way so I have to go to the ramparts all right no problem we're going to the ramparts anyways all I was trying to say is like I'd rather collect up some skills and some cells and all those different things but we're gonna have our hands forced and we're gonna go into the ramparts so be it okay Nice. Okay, well, we're going to unlock this first. Inflicts a critical when you're below 50%. Oh. That's actually kind of cool. This one poisons the victim. So let's see here. 334. So the damage per second is maybe a little bit lower, but the bleeding target poisons the victim, though. That part's pretty nice. Being able to get behind. You know what? Let's just give it a whirl. Uh, the reason being, you know what? I already know how the Assassin's Blade works. Let's give this one a whirl. Up we go. So this definitely seems to have a different color to it. Which is, that's alright. No problem with that. Okay, you know what? So far I haven't really noticed a, diff a change in difficulty. But I have changed... Or notice a change in like uh, like area generation and that they seem to be shorter and at least for the moment you know through those two areas less options of places to go so that's kind of cool I'm interested to see you know kind of how that plays out a little bit more long term like you know maybe there's like going through the ramparts doesn't just take us to the incomplete one right away or, you know, something along those lines. I've also heard that the Watcher has become a mid-tier boss, I think is what it said in the patch notes. Which seems to suggest to me that, you know, maybe I'm supposed to be beating him a little bit more readily than I have been up until this moment. Alright. Okay. We've been getting a lot of melee in here. But we could be doing, you know, a lot of other stuff, so... Okay, quick infinite bow. 
Let's see here. The damage is a lot less, but we can start getting, you know, crits pretty much right away. It's going to increase our brutality, which is, you know, nice. Uh, plus one extra damage. Yeah. Yeah, I think we're going to swap it. That, I mean, that, this double notch bow, very, very cool. I'm glad we found that. Uh, that is one we will definitely use again in the future, but I think it's time to switch to the quick bow. You know, just kind of the, the, the stat items that are on it. I think, oh yeah, this is probably done five minutes ago, yeah. But we're not doing speed run, so that's not that's not too shocking. Uh, continue with brutality. I mean, that's just that's just been what we've been doing. It'd be nice to get some more tactics going, but uh, I'm, I'm just not using my I'm not using my tactic items, my skill items as much as I should. I should I should focus on that a little bit here, which is what I'll do. Is there anything down there? No. Okay. Cool. I mean, that wasn't necessarily the... Oh! Best time to be using those items, but, uh... You know... It's good to just practice making sure they get some use. Damn, he got me. Okay. Doing good here. Totally meant to do the uh, death orb on that guy. That's alright. Hey, you know what? There's a little bit of tracking on this gun, or not gun, bow. I don't remember that happening before. Interesting. 8% cooldown for all active. Hmm. You know what? Let's continue down this route here. I mean, most of the weaponry that I'm actually using at the moment is red, so we might as well continue to stack that. That's all I'm getting at there. Got him. Hmm. I was trying to see if, you know, if I could essentially put some English on those arrows and point them in a certain direction, but that didn't really seem to be the case. Oh, it doesn't go through walls. I thought it did. Disappointing. Unfortunate. This is a long drop. Okay. The Black Bridge. We're not going to go there quite yet. Because I think there might be something for us to go to the right here with still. Ah, oh, see, I rolled the wrong way into that one. Again. Again, I did. Okay, well, we probably should just heal just to be safe. No point not healing at that point there, I'd say. Nice. Oh, he... Oh, shield guys. Biggest jerks ever. Biggest jerks ever. Blocking my stuff. Just everything. Ooh. Nice. Okay, well, we'll give this a whirl here in just a second. Let's just see if there's something cool below us here. Nope, definitely not. Just a teleporter. 44 guys. Okay. That seems reasonable. Oh, it's going to roll out of the way. Okay. Well, that's all right. You know what? progress we did better on that one than we did the one before oh look we can get a scroll down there on the right definitely want to go do that and out of the two between uh survivability and tactics we're going to take tactics out of those two okay there we go. 
And what are we at? Eight, three, and one. Okay. Oh, there's another one up top. How do we get that? I don't know how I even missed seeing that. Nice. Okay, well, out of these two again. That one. Damn, this thing keeps going. This is kind of intriguing. I like if if there's another area to go through that isn't the black bridge, I think we're gonna take it. Oh, see this thing again. Okay. Very intriguing. I like I like the looks of that. What do we got going on down here? Hmm. I mean, we are definitely getting pretty far away from, uh... What do you call it? The Black Bridge. Like, uh, I'm definitely thinking there's another way or two through this, uh, through the ramparts. Come on. Got him. <laughs> I don't know if necessarily freezing them way up in the air there was, you know, my best choice for uh, trying to kill them. But it worked out in the end. It's alright. Alright, we got a shop. Do we want to change any of these things here? Because what do we have on hand? We have a Death Orb 1, and we have an Ivy Grenade 2. So we could switch to a flashbang. Right. Ignite the ground below you. Toxic Cloud 4. That's probably alright. I don't really like turrets. We could do this one instead of the Death Orb. I think that's what we're going to do. And then we'll all go ahead and sell this bad boy. And just so I can remember. Yeah, alright. So that's going to be a... Actually, that's a fairly large area of effect for like a, a single area. If you know what I mean? Like it doesn't move around. It, it's right where you, uh, right where you place it only. Nice. And what's down here? Nothing of interest. What the heck? Uh, we're going there. I have no idea what that was. We are going here. Secret area uncovered. Use. Nope. Oh, I see. Okay. Alright, that just takes us back over here. Damn, 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 damn. Okay. Oh, well. Boo. I was kind of hoping, you know, the secret area would be a little more crazy sauce than that, but... Ah, uh, whatever. Still a new mechanic to have learned, so that's cool. So I'm certain there's a new way to go somewhere over there, but we can't break through. Oh. Well, let's... Do we want to switch to Corrupt Power? I don't think we do, but we might as well sell it. Let's just look at you know what it says. Stat-wise and, you know, those types of things. See, so, you another know, secret area. Okay. Number three. Releases a poisonous glass. Okay. Uh, that's cool. That's cool. See, but the, the extra damage that we take, yeah, not not really my thing. I take enough damage as it is. I don't need to in like start increasing the amount that I take per strike. All right, where is the black bridge? There we go. Okay, first boss in the new update. Let's hope that he hasn't, you know, sprouted wings or learned new stuff because that wouldn't be good for me. All right, we're going to spend all these cells on the hunter's grenade. We definitely want to, you know, fill this back up again. Okay. Let's see here. We got this, guys. It's been a while since we've, you know, played this game or fought this guy, but we have, you know, some AoE. 
<laughs> Ooh, ouch. Ouch, 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 ouch. Ouch, ouch. Okay, gotta remember how to do this. Oh yeah, right. Out of arrows, of course. That's okay. See... We got this. We got this. It's just a matter of... What? I got my arrows back? No way. No way. Oh my god, so good. Can I, like, knock the arrows out of them or something? I don't, I don't know how I got my arrows back. But it's good. It's good that I did. Yeah, see, I've got all my arrows back again. Oh, no. We need to heal. Oh, crap. See? It's okay. It's okay. We are going to survive from this. It's just not looking good at the moment. No point not healing. Got him. Got him. Okay, that was kind of a tense moment, guys, but uh, we did it. Do we got everything on the table? We got it. We're not leaving anything behind. Okay. Heading on to the collector, and I assume the, uh, the fog fjord still. Uh, oh, time ball. Yeah, how far behind? Nine minutes. Pretty significant, really. I'm going to spend them all right there. Get all this back. And what? What's going on? What? What? Oh, my God. There's something up there. Secrets abound, guys. There's there's something afoot here that I am not privy to. I mean, it's a little tantalizing, a little titillating. Uh, but also a little, you know, frustrating. Yep, just a little bit. That's okay. Okay. Who are you? Oh, jeez. Yeah, stay still for a second, guys. Uh, okay, well, I'm kind of having... Well, I'm not going to say flashbacks, it's actually kind of flash forwards to uh, those guys that spawned the flying guys out of their heads in, uh, what's it, the graveyard? Yeah. Okay, well, pretty behind. Oh, what is over there? Just gems. Just gems. No problem. Leaving those behind, no problem. It's only blueprints that I, you know, really care about. Wait, these guys are in here way too early. Not too early, actually. Too late. They're, they're not supposed to be on this level. I mean, at least they're stationary, so... Uh, I mean, not the worst thing ever. Okay, well, that cleaned up all those guys pretty readily. Okay. Another guy down. Got him. Got him. Out of the way of the explosion and everything. <sighs> okay, they didn't get me. I kind of thought they were going to for a moment there. Like, their jump animation doesn't appear to be the same as their attack animation, which is actually really good. <sighs> be quick! Oh, okay, well, never mind. That was super quick. We're gonna go through this door first. I'm assuming that those two actually link up. Maybe? Maybe not. We definitely want this. So what is the route we're going here? I think I think still more brutality. Okay. Got him. Oh come on! Say, can I not get? Oh, jeez! He teleports. 
Okay, well that deserves some healing. And we learned something. Yay! These guys are, you know, rapidly getting further and further down my list of, you know, enemies I enjoy fighting. Alright. Do we want to use this and switch it out with something? Uh, Ivy Grenade 2, definitely for an Ice Grenade 6, especially with a plus 1 tactics. All damage taken minus 15. Holy crap! Nice. And bleed when it thaws out. Pfft, awesome. Okay, we're going to recycle this. You know what I just realized? There's no necklace. No necklaces. Doesn't exist. Um, interesting. That's really interesting. That's a mechanic I didn't expect to, you know, have taken out here. Yep, definitely didn't work out the way I thought it was going to. Right, teleporters. Okay, well, I got most of that health back that, you know, I shouldn't have, you know, taken in terms of damage in the first place, but that's alright. Ooh. Okay, well, you only live once, and we'll be super careful. Uh, okay. We're definitely going brutality. We're taking this. And what are we going to switch here? I think we're going to keep this one. And we're going to swap out this one. You take plus 20% damage. Good. Good. Mm hmm. Okay. We're just going to do it. Just gonna do it. That's alright, we can be safe. I mean, it's not like, you know, we're fighting enemies we haven't seen before, you know, and stuff like that. Oh, but you know what a good... You know, oh, okay, no, 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 I got... I got something I should be aware of there. In that those guys, these ones here, they're gonna turn into a bunch of bad guys when they die. Okay, we just need to kill one more. In fact, this may be a case of we're just going to wait until we have this awesome firebomb and then do that. Curse lifted. There we go. Uh, I think this is like a jump pad or something like that. Like if we had the right rune or something like that, it would allow us to volley up on it, you know. All right, I'm gonna keep exploring these rooms. Here we go, here we go. Damn it. Okay, well, I'm maintaining, you know, a decent amount of health for the number of times I've been hit recently, which is a good, what? Village key. Uh, okay. I'm sure that is important. I'm intrigued. I have to say there are a lot of things about this game suddenly that I am re-intrigued about. Which is cool. Good job, guys. Good job. Ah, oh, frick. Nope, nope. Can I make that? No, I cannot. <sighs> okay, that's okay. We took some damage, but in the end, uh, it played out okay there. We got most of it back. And what do we got here? We got a shop. All right. Is it worth it to heal? I mean, we still have most of our health or our health potions I should say hmm I'm gonna leave it we can always come back that's that's not a problem <sighs> ok 
Okay. No, no. See, the problem is if I have to go down a hallway to get to this guy, it's not likely to, you know, happen. Unless, of course, he walks forward and I get him with the bow, which was not what I was expecting to be able to do. Okay. Let's see. Unlock. Okay. All right. So it's a graveyard kind of deal. I got it. That's all right. Wait. Oh, they tell you what's inside them. Cool. That's a cool mechanic. All right. Nice. What? 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 No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Okay. I'm not really certain what happened all throughout that. Man, those guys actually have a fairly decent amount of health. Yeah, we'll let that happen. Okay. Got him. What do we got going on over here? Not much. Probably have to wait for those things to like hatch. It's interesting that uh, right through the middle of this place is where uh, you know there's, there's a switch in enemy types. Right after you you know go through the village key door. Okay. All right. All right. I mean, there's little bits of panic in there, but it worked out okay. Okay, we definitely need to heal. It's okay, and we also got to keep in mind that the shop there is going to be, you know, a good resource to get some of this health back if, if we run out of uh, healing potions as well. Okay. Getting close on a couple of those. Yes, like that. Okay, all right. Nothing that some fire can't put out. Nice. Yee. Okay, we want some fire again here. Nope, didn't work the way I wanted it to. You know what? That's okay. It worked out just fine. But I really want those, you know, stat upgrades there. Okay, that was actually quite efficient. Okay, we're doing all right, we're doing all right. A lot of like larva bad guys here. No, stop it. Okay. We're going to hang out here for a moment. This seems a little bit safer than everything else I've been doing. And now... Won't get blown up, luckily. And we'll let that take care of everything. Okay, tactics. Obviously, we're going, like, almost zero in terms of survivability. Hmm. Is a shop. Do we want to switch to something like Knife Storm? Ooh. If an enemy dies while bleeding, shots pierce the first target. That's such a good one. Um, we already have an ice grenade. Six. No, you know what? We're gonna we're gonna leave that one alone. That you know not exactly what I was expecting. Whenever I see, you know, knife storm. And sorry, guys, I'm just gonna take a pause here to pour myself some tea. Just hold on. Okay. And now, just one sip. Ah, okay, we're good to go. Let's see what we can do here. Yep, yep. Distraction play. Okay. That did not work out 
anywhere near how I wanted it to. Stop it. Okay, we have taken just far too much damage. No, 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 that didn't work out. Ooh. Yeah, let's not leave that behind. I want to get there. And how is not that way. Down one more. Okay. You know what? Before we go too far, we're going to make our way over there. That's essentially given at this point here. We want to go through here first. No point leaving this behind. We need another key? Another village key. Okay. Interesting. It's good to know. And then, uh, yeah, let's take care of all these jerks. And then we'll try this door. Oh, there's just so many ways to take damage. Oh, I'm okay. I'm okay. Mm, I do want to kill that guy. Just, I, you know, I feel he's a jerk, and he deserves it. And he's going to give me a cell, so that works out. Okay, we're definitely healing one more time here. So we have one more swig left. We can open the village door there, which is good. And we can go down that way as well, but before we do that... We're going to <laughs> escape all that and uh, make it just fine. What do we got? What do we got? Infantry grenade. What? It's red. Well, I mean, red, purple, but red. There's a really short recharge time. That's interesting. Uh, well, well, I mean, with the burning target, that's pretty good. Let's try it here for a second. I mean, it does come back super fast. Okay. That might have been a super bad idea, but uh, it's the one we're going for right now. Okay. We know we can come back to that one. Oh, crap. Okay, we got him. Let's just see what's over here for a moment. Can I unlock this? Ooh, see, I had a choice. That's interesting. So I didn't go down. I'm going to the clock tower instead. Uh, okay. Okay. New area, guys. I don't know what I have done to myself. I may have doomed myself. Uh, but that's okay. All in the name of science, really. All in the name of science. Alright, we definitely are going to need this. And let's hope that, uh, you know, we see some new enemies. We get some new... Uh, some new items, I guess? Yes. Yes, yes. Oh. Uh, I am, like, locked in. I am locked. Is this a boss fight? Or, you know, do I just get... Oh, this is a ladder. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Got it. Nope doesn't do anything for me okay oh see this don't know okay this this music is making me seem like or feel like I am about to fight something epic here those guys okay all right So far, so good. 
I've defeated some of them and I haven't even had to actually fight them. Okay. We've actually had to fight a couple of them now. And we're still okay. Oh, oh. Yes, I see. That guy's angry. Okay, well, the, you know, the, the skills and tactic build are starting to work out a little bit more uh, in my favor now. Okay, alright. We are going to use those much, much more now. There's definitely a reason to as well, so... Uh, I don't want to go out that way quite yet. Because I feel like that was, like, leading to a boss or something. I mean, I'm just making shit up. Okay, so... We... Bef let's not get out of hand. Let's just assume that this is, a, you know, an okay way to go. There's a teleporter. Oh. This is totally gonna, like, lock me behind this thing, isn't it? Yep. And I'm gonna have to... Yep. Yep. Holy crap. Holy crap. Okay, healing, healing, healing. No need to panic. Just, you know, don't die. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, we're going brutality. Damage upgrades across the board. Okay, okay. My heart is like that encounter did not ooh, did not go easily. And you know what? The thing is, I lo holy shit. Okay, well, those guys can output some damage, just so everybody knows. You know what? If you enjoyed watching this episode, hit the like button. I certainly enjoyed it. That, that clock tower, I'm looking forward to going back there. So, you know, catch me next time, and that's likely the way we are going again. Until then, everybody. Have a good night. Bye-bye.